All right, welcome back. This is a video on the Kershaw E-Trainer pocket knife. It is a variation of one of the Kershaws, the, um, you know, it just slipped my mind, but you'll take a look and maybe be able to tell. And this particular knife is really cool because it does not have an edge on it. Let's just go ahead and open it up and show you that. Completely dull, nice little, steel frame lock with a G10 line, uh, G10 scale on it. And I think this knife's really cool for a few reasons. For one, uh, depending on whether you just use it out of box or loosen it up a little, you can actually make it pretty uh, uh, fidgety like this. And second, it's really good for young kids. So I've invited my three-year-old to come over and play with it. So. All right, bud, you want to go ahead and see if you can figure out how to open that up like we've talked about? Now, he's spent some time with this knife and uh, generally has a sense of what he needs to do. Um, so go ahead and open it up there, buddy. I did it like this and I did it like that. Yeah, you did it. You did a really good job. And now, if you can tell us what's the difference between this side and this side, what's this side and what's that side? Sharp and not. Yeah, sharp and not, right? Yeah. And can you go ahead and show us how to close that knife up? Yeah, get it nice and high up in there so you have the leverage. It's too hard. Yeah, it can be a little hard, huh? Let's try again. Yep, push first and then fold. Push and fold. Remember to push across that way. Yeah, there you go. Push. Oh, there you go. You got it. And you only touch that spine of the blade, right? Because the other part's sharp. This one? Yeah, you only touch the spine like that. Now this show us one, how to open it one? safely. Yeah. Uh -huh. Can you show us how to Look, open my it? My thumb was hurting. Oh, your thumb's a little hurting from yeah. opening it? Yeah. yeah, this knife is a little bit big for a, a little three-year-old like him. But um, it is pretty... Uh, pretty usable. What I did is I got in here and I pushed this open a little bit so it wouldn't be quite so hard on his little hands. Um, so I pushed that outward and it's still got pretty good lock up there. It's not as important on the lock up as it is for him just to figure out how to use it. So let's try again. It pushed that way. Remember, push across, not down. Are right, you pushing down? You gotta push across. There you go. Yep. Try again, push first and then fold. There you go, you got it. You did it. Okay, now tell me buddy, which side of this is sharp and which side is dull? Sharp is dull. Yeah, sharp and dull. Oh, I said how it's sharp and spine. Spine, that's the spine of the blade, huh? Yeah. What's this part called, do you remember? Blue. Blue, it is blue. It's the handle. Handle. And what about this part right here? Do you remember what that's called? Metal. That's metal, but it's the lock. How about this part? Clip. The clip. That's right. The pocket clip. He's pointing at his side right now. That's right. <coughs> He's got a little bit of a cold going right now, unfortunately. So... Um, yeah, it's been a pretty good, uh, pretty good little knife. Um, definitely would encourage anyone to get it. I don't know that it's uh, exactly designed for a three-year-old. We have a, a more appropriate little plastic pocket knife that's good for him, but I'd say like five and above, it's going to be a pretty great little knife. So thanks for helping out on the channel, buddy. He's smiling. Can you say you're welcome? You're welcome. All right. We'll see you next time. Take care.